Hi guys, we are in the genetic lab and today we will demonstrate the workflow of chromosome preparation. This is the first step. We obtained the sample. Uh, for chromosome branding and chromosome preparation, we need heparinized blood sample. We will use the white blood cells. Now we are uh, initiating our cell culture. What we need is our sample, an appropriate medium, This is a pastor pipette and we will just inoculate our cells into the meat. We will start our cell culture. This will take place at 37 degrees centigrade and it will take approximately 3 full cell cycle and it will take about 72 hours. Yes, we have waited for 71 hours and we will now terminate the cell cycle. We just need the metaphase stage in order to obtain short and thick chromosomes the mitotic inhibitor colsemit is good for this reaction and we will wait for extra one hour Yes, it's now to obtain our cells. We will need centrifugation for this process. We will use our cell pellet to obtain the appropriate population. So, as you see, we have obtained the cell pellet. We will take out the supernatum. Now, this is a mixed population, but we will need the cells a bit larger, so we will hydrate them with warm potassium this is the hypotonic solution in hypotonic environment we will enlarge the cytoplasm of the cells This will take another one hour or what the lab's protocol is. For example, in our lab we incubate for 25 minutes. It needs another incubation. So after the hypotonic incubation, we again use the centrifuge to obtain our cell pellet. Now we will use our fixative solution that contains methanol and acetic acid. We will hold, hydrolyze, wash and fixate the cells.
So because of the lenses of the electrocytes, you see the color of our solution. And after the current washes, it will turn to white. So we have washed uh, three times and as you see we have obtained a clear pellet now. So it's time to spread the chromophores onto microscope slides. Now to, time to obtain a good chromosome spread. Of course, as well as spreading the cell population, it's also important how our chromosome spread dries. And for this, we have automation systems using the ideal temperature and humidity. So we have an ideal slide prepared. It's now time to use Gimza or Leishman dye and obtain good chromosome bending. Our chromosome preparations are ready. We are now scanning the microscope slides with automated microscope systems and we will obtain the metaphase cells and then analyze them with specific softwares. We will both, of course, count the chromosomes and in addition, analyze them with their morphological characteristics. For example, in this patient, as you see, there is an extra X chromosome that means this is a karyotype of a Kleinfelter syndrome patient.